Hello everyone, welcome back to my pod, uh, YouTube channel and this is the last episode of The Scratcher, episode 80. And then I'm gonna continue talking about my science, humidity. The amount of moisture in the air is another factor that affects weather as the sun's heat evaporates water from the Earth's surface and the oceans, the atmosphere become filled with water vapor. The presence of water vapor in the atmosphere is called humidity. Air containing little va water vapor is dry. Air containing much water vapor is humid. Dead. Um, if the air can hold so much moisture, why did we have rain this morning? Remember that clouds begin as warm air masses containing water vapor as warm humid air floats upwards in the cooler altitudes the water vapor cools and condenses into tiny water droplets this happens because in air higher altitudes as water molecules cool they lost their heat energy the less energetic molecules surround dust particles and stick together to form droplets if these floating water droplets gather together they form clouds when the water droplets became too heavy to remain suspended they fall from sky as precipitation if the temperature in the atmosphere is below is above the freezing point perception fall as rain when the temperatures is blowing below the freezing point precipitation Precipitation appears as snow, sleet, or hail. Snowflakes are six-sided frozen water crystal. In their earliest stage of developing, snowflakes have been found to have simple and similar forms. However, as snowflakes increases in size, they became so different that some scientists think that no two snowflakes are exactly alike. As interjected that reminds me how we are all created in the image of God, yet he sees the unique of characteristics and the abilities of each individual. Okay, so we're going to continue talking about the next story. Hmm. Meteorology must consider air masses as they attempt to the forecast Stated Mr. Ferguson, what are air masses? That inquired. An air masses is the huge volume of an air in the lowest air layer of the atmosphere, which is the stratosphere. Mr. F an air mass may be thousands of thousand miles, and large portion of the troposphere remain in the exit for days or weeks with a large area of land, an area of constant temperature and humidity in the large amuse assumes the characteristics of the Earth's surface below. If the air mass is over land, it will be dry. If the air mass is over the water, it will be humid. The air mass will be also assumed the approximate temperatures of the Surface below, after time, prevailing winds and earth rotation cause the air mass to move. When it moves, the air mass will carry with this temperatures and humidity. The characters of this source again, an air mass from North Pole to South Pole. A cold air mass gradually warms as it's moved toward and Mr. Ferguson continue. When two air masses meet, the boundary between them is a front. Front. A cold from front forms. The denser cold air pushes under the warm air, causing the air rises to to rise. Water vapor in the violent thunderstorm sink on cold air creates high pressure and brings a period of cooler, sunny weather as it moves into the region. Warm front forms when a stronger air mass overtakes a weakening cold air mass moving in the same direction. The, the producing heavy but not violent precipitation. A warm form is per presented by much cloudliness. A stationary front shows a little or no movement. Okay, thank you for watching my episode of youtube channel we'll see you in the next youtube next quarter bye bye